diapers, bottles, monitor. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I left a note for Libby so she knows where we are when she wakes up. How are you doing? Well, I can't believe that Ian is forcing me to go to court to allow him to spend time with Danny. That's not going to happen. How can you be so sure the judge is going to agree with you? Ian does have rights as Danny's father. Well, then we'll make him understand the risks involved. We'll let him know what Ian's been up to and that he tried to kidnap Daniel. <sighs> Look, it'll all come out in the hearing. Never in my worst nightmare did I ever expect this to happen. I know. Half the time, I can't believe what I'm seeing or hearing and that this man... The other half of the time, you're scared. And you have every reason to be. You're doing the right thing. All that matters is protecting Daniel. That's all I can think about. I am so sorry, Eve. I can't believe what you've been going through. Livy, did we wake you up? I'm sorry. No, it's OK. <laughs> I feel like all I've been doing is sleeping lately. Are you guys off to the hearing now? Uh, yeah. I'm going to testify. But it's just an informal hearing. We shouldn't be gone that long. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Dad, I don't know what Lucy or Jax told you, but you don't have to worry about me. I don't mind. You know, Jack and I broke up. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. It's definitely nothing compared to what Eve's been dealing with. <coughs> oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, it's okay, buddy. <coughs> yes, it's okay. Mommy's here. I can't believe I have to put him through this, too. Then, Eve, why don't you leave him here with me? And I'd be happy to take care of him. What's going on? Why'd you pull me out of there? I was getting through to Livy. Getting through to her? That's what you call it, huh? Yeah, sir. Look, I got it all figured out. Caleb is using Livy to destroy everyone, right? O only she doesn't know it yet. And I was this close to helping her. You were this close to telling her. No. No, I, I was, you know, I was guiding her. Mm. I was helping her remember what she already knows, mm. like you said. Mm -hmm. I'll help you fight him. I'll tell you what's really happening. Yeah, so maybe I got a little carried away. Mm -hmm. I threw out the rules again. Do you see what he's doing to her? Libby needs help, and Caleb needs to know that he can't get away with this. So you thought you'd send him a message, is that it? He was sweating it before you pulled me back here. Now he's just sitting down there thinking nobody can stop him. You know something? I really don't care. I don't give a damn what he thinks. This isn't about you and Caleb. It's about helping these people with their lives. Helping but them I... fight for themselves and for each other. Not doing it for them. Otherwise, you're taking away their strength. All right, so meanwhile, while I'm down there helping them do this, we, we just let Caleb do whatever he pleases, is that it? Why don't you concentrate on what you can do, huh? The things you can do? Giving Caleb a conscience isn't one of them. Soon, I'll have everything I deserve. And you... You are so right. I belong to you and always will. Thank you for giving me another chance and letting me help you. I brought you what is rightfully yours. Just remember, this will be an informal hearing. There will only be a judge and a court reporter. Is there anything I should do or expect? Just tell the truth. Why you don't want Ian near your son. This isn't your fault, Eve. Ian's the one who forced the issue. I'm glad you're here, Kevin. Lucy? I don't know what you're trying to do, but I won't let you get near Daniel. 
That's where you're wrong. He's my son, and you're not keeping me away from him. Not now, not ever. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm not making any progress. Every time my cousin and her friends come close to finding each other again, Caleb just comes right in and blows them apart again. There's always setbacks, kid. That's how it is in life. That's how it is now. Well, but there's more to this. I mean, I mean, they're further apart now than ever before. You losing faith in them? No. No, I'm just, I'm stuck. You know, I, I thought giving them that night to dream would, would help remind them of what's really in their hearts. And... <laughs> they haven't forgotten. Why does it feel like they have? Because it ain't that easy. One night of dreaming doesn't take everything away. Certainly not your problems or your fears or your doubts. Certainly not evil. That battle's as old as time. All right, so, so what are you saying? I just go out there and fight the good fight and just throw my hat in the ring and see what happens? No, hey, what, no, what? no. You give them as much as you can to fight with. And that's hope. Like you did with the dreams. Like you did with the girl you're working with for a while. Livy? Yeah, Livy. Reminding her that she's still got the love of her family and her friends. That was good work, by the way. Um, I, are you giving me a compliment? Well, you went a little too far. You gotta watch the impatience, kid. This is a marathon, not a sprint. But, you know, Caleb's on his way back. There's people's lives at stake here. Lives they have to save. So you focus on them, and would you please put away your old human emotions someplace? Old human emotions? What? Look, kid, it's good that you care. It really is good. But it, it, it disrupts you. It distracts you. You got to keep your eye on the ball. I think your friends' lives depend on it. Uh, why don't we let them talk? I'm not leaving Eve alone with him. We'll be fine. Really, this is a courthouse after all. What the hell are you doing here? Um, I suppose I should ask you the same question. I have to testify. Oh, well, so do I. For Ian? Yes, for Ian. Somebody needs to be in his corner, you know. You're only making this worse, Lucy. Do you see that? No, what I, what I see is you stuck to your ex-wife like glue and, and turning Eve and Ian against each other. That's what I see. You are making it worse. Eve's husband tried to take their baby. That is not true. He was set up. And you actually buy that? You of all people. Yeah, I do. Well, oh, oh, is this because my daughter, Christina, was kidnapped? And, and so you think I'd sympathize with a kidnapper? I don't think so. He is not a kidnapper. And so I do sympathize with him. Does Ian know? Yeah. Yes, I told him that I saw Christina. And you know what? He truly believes me. So that's what this is about. He believes you, so you believe him. No, this is not what it's about. It's about Ian. He's been a good friend. He's a good man, and he is not capable of doing what you and Eve are accusing him of doing. And it has nothing to do with Christina. No. But it sure feels awfully good to have somebody support me in something that is so important to me. I want Christina back with you more than anyone, and you know it. But Scott's people have been everywhere, and they can't find a single trace that Christina was here. Ever. Fine. It's true, Lucy. I know, okay? But right now, that's not what matters. This is not about me or you or Christina. This is about Eve and Ian and their baby. And you're meddling. And if you keep doing this, if, if you and Eve keep working together on this, you take the chance of tearing their family apart forever. I'm not the one who's doing this, Eve. I won't give you another chance to take Daniel. I can't. I... I didn't kidnap Daniel. And I don't know who did. And I don't know why they tried to make it look like I was going to take him outside the country. But I know this. If we don't stick together here, whoever's behind this is going to succeed. I can't 
let my guard down now. Not with Dan. I know, I'm, I know. But you're focusing on the wrong person. So let's figure out who's behind this. The way we figure out everything else together. Let's forget about this hearing and, and uh, go home as a family, you, me, and the boy, so I can take care of you. I see you two have had a chance to talk. Is there a chance you've settled your differences? No, we haven't. Forgive me for taking so long and forever denying this child belongs to you. Mom, you're home, son. You're home. I'm so sorry. I should have known you were the one. You're so much better than Michael. I should have picked you. But I didn't pick you. Now you've brought your child. You're of no use to me anymore. Would you like to hold our child, my love? Please. Mommy's here, Daniel. Mommy's here. It's okay, baby, I'm here. Oh, there you go, here's a toy. You are the sweetest little baby. Yes. What was that? I remember holding you, but that was at Eve's, not... I've never been in the park with you. What am I remembering? Did he tell you he was going to give you a child? Yes. It was going to be our son. And it was going to be our son. Why am I remembering this? What is happening to me? And finally, though this isn't a formal court, my decision is binding. Now, I've read the claims and counterclaims, and they're pretty ugly. I would like to hear from the couple involved, in your own words, how you got here. Starting with Dr. Lambert. The reason I am keeping my son away from his father is because I came to find out some things about his past. There's a woman telling lies about me, and my wife has chosen to believe them. A woman Ian worked with in Africa told me that he murdered her husband and then tried to kill her. Anne-Marie died tragically. Whoever this woman is, spreading lies, is an imposter. Is this woman you've spoken of available to testify? No. We can't find her. Because she's afraid of Ian. She's afraid of being exposed as a liar. Anne-Marie's dead. Is there a document or person who can confirm that? No, but we're trying to locate somebody. And then come to find out that Ian purchased two tickets to Europe. One for himself and one for my baby. Your Honor, I'm afraid that if you let him see my son, he'll take him away from me and I'll never see either one of them ever again. Anyone could order those tickets in my name. And I would never take Danny away from his mother, regardless of what my rights are as a father. I'm very disturbed by everything I've heard here today. But neither of you has given me anything that proves whose version of events is true, if any of it is. Every incident or story comes down to a case of he said, she said. So that means there's no evidence of me being a risk to my son, which means I should be allowed to see him. No, you can't let him. Miss Coe, do you have anything to add that we haven't heard? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to, but yes, I do. Your Honor, you have to understand this whole thing. It, it sounds awful, but w what it is, it's just a big, awful mess. That's what it is. And the saddest part of it is there's a little baby involved. You see, Ian loves his son very, very much. And 
Eve loves Danny, too. And I, I hate to say this, because Eve is a wonderful mother. She's been very caring and, and wonderful. She's very good with her little boy. But it's just lately, the way she's acting toward Ian, it, it's too much. It's, it's really become irrational. I need specifics, Miss Cole. <sighs> um, OK, uh, I'll try. Evie, you have to admit, you have been very, very anxious with this baby. I mean, I think it sort of started when you were pregnant. Remember, I mean, you were so scared for Danny's safety. In fact, you would you would go running between what, her husband and, and she would run to this priest who ended up not really being a priest, but she was very concerned about Danny's safety. And I think it's carried over because she, she actually went out of an apartment and left the baby locked in. She didn't turn on the baby monitor. And I think Danny came too early because she was really stressed out. Not to mention these horrible nightmares she was having. Damn it, Lucy! You know it's because a vampire was after my son! You feeling sorry for yourself, kid? No, it's just all these people I'm supposed to be helping. You haven't failed. Neither have they. Yet. What would happen? You know, what, what would be so terrible about just bending the rules just a little bit? I guess there's only one way to make you understand. All right, tell me. Go ahead. If you'd followed your impulse at that moment and told Libby, this is what would have happened. It was your desire, Olivia. No. Look at me. I'll help you fight him. We'll bring him down together. I'll tell you what's really happening here. You are the one helping Caleb. He's making you destroy all the people you love. No! It's because of you that Lucy's chasing after Christina, that, that Kevin's going after Ian. No, I don't believe you! It's not your fault, but you have to remember all the things you're doing to Jack, sabotaging no! Ian and Eve. You're Caleb's tool. You can change no! that, but... I, I, I would have killed her. Sorry you had to see that. Now maybe you understand. Right. We guide, we plant seeds, and, and we hope. We hope. We more than hope. Right. We, we, we have faith that, that given encouragement, People will ultimately do the, the right thing. Now, now you're really ready to go back. I just uh, hope I'm not too late. vampires after your son. Are you serious? Yes, Your Honor. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. And if you let me explain, and maybe you'll understand why all the other problems followed. I don't care to listen to either one of you at the moment. You have an infant who has had health problems. And each of you is wasting time flinging accusations back and forth. Unbelievable accusations and ridiculous excuses for neglect that you actually believe. Whatever breakdown you're experiencing, the one thing I am sure of is that we have two parents, two doctors, whose desire to get the best of each other is at the expense of their baby. I don't trust this child with either of you. And until you prove to me otherwise, Daniel Thornhart is to be placed in protective custody as a temporary ward of the state. Stay tuned. 
tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. Please don't try to see Hope anymore. It's all explained in these papers. This is all my fault. I'll run for the rest of my life, but at least you won't find my son. Hi, I brought Daniel. I thought he needed to be with his parents. Did I do something wrong? If you missed Caleb's chilling arrival in Port Charles, you can flash back to Port Charles' tainted love, Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. 4 Pacific. SoapNet, soap watching made easy.